2011, uh, my colleagues trying to use different ways to tell the world that Mohammed al Muscati was arrested for but his Why heart. were you arrested? I was arrested because uh, the, I was charged with insulting the, the, get, the king and the government and uh, uh, after that, that was in 2011 and until before I came to here I was having trials for that. So it's, it's, it's they, the, my colleagues and the activists trying to find a way to tell the world that there is human rights activists arrested in, in, in Bahrain and trying to use all methods or tools and it was very difficult for them to go to certain uh, media, especially in, in Gulf, uh, to tell them that please put something, put news about uh, uh, Maskati, but no one was agreed to do this because, you know, it's kind of propaganda used by the <laughs> Can the story maker make a change in a, in a situation like that? A uh, story maker is not only making a change. A story maker, we can say, we, we need alternative way to tell the world what happened. Why we, we are trying to get attention from commercial media or from government media and that attention sometimes it's 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 a uh, negative uh, impact on you so we need to find other way alternative way to tell the world how how what's happening and what's uh, happening now on the street so story maker is is helping the human rights defenders okay. and journalists and bloggers. Coming back to my question, how do you find the people, how do you trace the people, and how do you school them in using the story maker, the story maker in, in your country, in Bahrain? Uh, and and uh, Free Press have uh, four, uh, four countries now focusing, but in Bahrain, we're trying to, 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 to contact the people who are um, playing a good role in their village, taking picture uh, by their phone and trying to uh, send this picture to the human rights organization. So we tell them we have another method, okay. especially story maker is the, we, we're trying to also not only uh, publish a story, but also helping the person who want to publish story without get arrested. We have a security, uh, high level security in the story maker. Uh, you can choose it by the sitting. So it's it's helping the, the, the activists to be more active without getting arrested. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. They, they probably don't come to a certain building to be taught how to use the story maker. How do you explain that in practice to them? We try to do it uh, visually. Uh, like we have meetings in coffee shop or uh, uh, in, in private place. So we tell them how to use the story maker. How, how you can publish your story without you getting ar arrested, uh, how you can be a citizen uh, without put your name and everything. Because the most important is not put my name in, in the story, uh, but the most important to tell the world what happening yeah. on the ground. That's the most important. And, and, and has there been an example so far of a real change? Because of the use of Storymaker, has it been a story put forward by Storymaker use that has made an impact in Bahrain? I, I cannot say there is one tools can do change. No way. You cannot say there is a one tools. It says that like a magic can change everything in, in, in the country. You need to use more different tools. You need to be by yourself. On, on, on the way to struggle to, to, to have social change or to get a uh, democratic country. But a story maker is bring easy way to have storytelling about how we, how we can also sometimes use the, our story to advocate our, our uh, uh, cases and also to, to be easy uh, uh, to use it, we have lessons in the story maker. So you don't need to, to go to a uh, website searching about how we can do okay. the story and how we can publish the story.